Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again and today I give you my detailed walk around review of the Pulsar 160 NS, the red and the blue color variants just as I had promised when I had done the first ride review. You can watch my detailed first ride review of the Pulsar 160 NS by following the link appearing right up on the screen right here and you can also watch my detailed comparo video where I compare the 160 NS with its arch rivals like the Jigsaw, the Hornet, the RTR 160 and the FZ version 2.2 and you can watch that video as well by following the link appearing right up here. Well, as of now, I'll be giving you a quick overview of the Pulsar 160 NS in this video and a detailed walk around of the red and the blue color variants which look absolutely stunning. So without wasting any more time, let's dive straight into this video. This is the Pulsar 160 NS, the red color variant. So how attractive is this color? Well, believe me, both the red as well as the blue color variants, as you can see here, are equally attractive and striking and eye-catchy. And when you can couple this gorgeous paint job with some equally scintillating and sporty looking decals, what you get is undoubtedly one of the hottest looking bikes in this segment. Now, let me give you guys a quick overview of the Pulsar 160 NS. The first thing that falls to the bike's favor is its 200 NS inspired styling, which lends the bike great road press. Also, the headlamp featured on this bike is the most powerful in this segment. We get a 55 by 60 watt headlamp on the 160 NS, whereas the rest of the bikes in this segment only offer a 35 by 35 watt headlamp. The 160 NS also offers the longest wheelbase in this segment of 1363 mm, which results in better high speed and straight line stability. The 160 NS also is the only bike to offer a perimeter frame, which offers increased torsional stiffness and rigidity, thereby lending the bike superb handling characteristics. And you can experience this firsthand when you test ride this bike. The 160 NS also is the only bike among its rivals to offer an oil cooled engine, which prevents the engine from heating up in bumper to bumper traffic. The seats offer good cushioning and adequate room for the rider as well as the pillion. However, the pillion seat is positioned slightly higher due to its lifted up tail section, which means it might not be easily accessible for ladies. Also, the 160 NS is the only bike to feature a Nitrox gas charged rear monoshock in this segment, and this coupled with the chunky front telescopic folks offer good riding comfort in city conditions as well as good stability at higher speeds. Now this is the only bike to offer an underbelly exhaust in this segment which comes with greater water wading capabilities and best in class ground clearance of 176 mm. The centrally mounted exhaust aids in the mass centralization concept thereby offering the rider greater control and balance while taking sharp turns. The 160 NS also offers the trademark backlit switches which is a hallmark of the Pulsar family and they look gorgeous when they light up. Looking at the instrument console, we get an analog tachometer whereas the digital readouts include the speedometer, odometer, trip meters, fuel gauge, a clock, side stand indicator and a service reminder. Apart from this, just like all other two wheelers for this year, this bike also features a BS4 compliant engine which puts out lesser pollution compared to a BS3 engine. The bike also gets the AHO or automatic headlamp on feature which means the headlamp comes on the moment you start the bike. And to know whether the AHO feature affects the battery life of your bike, please follow the link appearing on the screen currently. Talking about a few cons of the bike, now despite coming really well equipped in terms of features, the 160 NS is one of the heaviest bikes when compared to its rivals weighing in at 142 kgs. Now there is a trade off here you should be willing to make because on one hand the increased weight helps the bike stay planted at higher speeds while on the other it might result in the fuel economy of the bike taking a hit. Now compensating for the excess weight is the best in class power figures. The 4 stroke 4 valve 160.3 cc DTSI engine puts out a max power of 15.5 PS and a max torque of 14.6 Newton meters. Now please note that this is the only bike in this segment to feature a 4 valve engine which allows the engine to breathe easy even at higher RPMs so that falls to the favor of this bike. The second most not so satisfactory thing about this bike is the skinny rear tire. Now I do agree that we Indians are fascinated with fat rear tires but when it comes to road grip what really determines better performance is not just the tire width but the softer compound material used in tire construction. Now I believe this is a 110 by 80 Zapper C rear tire from MRF which is made of high performance compound and comes with a rounded and extended shoulder profile which promises superior grip on wet road surfaces and good traction overall. 
However, I do agree that the radial rear tire on the Jixxer offers greater confidence while trying sharper lean angles compared to this one. Seat height wise, I am 5 feet 6 inches tall and I felt quite comfortable riding this bike around in city conditions during my first ride review. So in my opinion, it should hold good for average height riders and riders up to 6 feet tall. The tank capacity is 12 litres which I believe would end up offering good tank range when you couple it with the bike's mileage figure. Mileage wise there is no official claim as such but I think you can expect around 45 to 50 kmpl depending on your riding style and riding conditions. The ex showroom price here in Hyderabad for the Pulsar 160 NS is Rs 81,226 and to know the exact on-road price for this bike here in Hyderabad you can call the number appearing on the screen currently. Well that's pretty much it for now I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time this is Dino saying ciao, take care, God bless and ride safe.